Hi, my name's Amanda, and today I'm going to teach you how to do overtone singing. For those of you who don't know, overtones are frequencies that can sometimes be heard above a pitch that's being played or sung. They're always in the same key, and it's usually the fifth or dominant and octave above that pitch. It has a really cool whistling tone to it, so a lot of contemporary composers like to use this technique in their choral music for a really cool ethereal sound. In order to start overtone singing, you first need a nice pure ooh vowel. There should be no pushing from your throat. Overtones are made basically by just the movement and shape of your mouth. So you should just have a nice pure ooh vowel with a steady stream of air. Ooh. From there, you need to start moving your lips between an E and an ooh vowel. Some people think this is the only step to overtone singing. Ooh -y -ooh -y -ooh -y -ooh but it doesn't really have the same effect. The last step is to curl your tongue upwards so that the tip of your tongue is almost touching your alveolar ridge, which is right behind your front teeth. I first learned how to overtone sing by practicing in my car when I was driving, and also by sometimes walking from place to place, which definitely got me some strange looks from people. But after playing around with my tongue movement and my tone resonance, I finally got the hang of it. So when I demonstrate, I'll start by singing an ooh vowel, and then I'll incorporate the overtone so you can hear the difference. Listen for the whistling pitch right above the tone that I'm singing. With some practice, I think you can do it too. Thanks for watching.